it happening again. Remember when Chris Evans played the Human Torch, but then found more success as Captain America? How about Michael B. Jordan playing Human Torch, but finding more success in the MCU as Killmonger? Well, it sort of is happening again because this time this actor isn't finding more success with a new role. They're making me question the entire timeline and direction of the MCU. I'm talking about Robert Downey Jr. Let's talk about it. I woke up on this beautiful morning and I got two messages from my older brother. And I was like, oh, okay, he's hitting me up. Let's see what's going on. I did not expect what I was about to see from these tweets regarding Robert Downey Jr. and the MCU. Okay, here's the first one. What is this? I see Robert Downey Jr. and I see Doom masks and he's got the outfit on at Comic-Con. What? Like, and they're the Russo brothers. So I'm thinking, what are we doing with Avengers? And look at this mask reveal. And you can see some people are like, oh, some people are hyped because they're like, well, what does, what does this mean? All right, but it's not there. Let me show you the second one. This character is in all of comics, right, Kevin? I mean, this is potentially one of the more entertaining characters in all of fiction. If we're going to do this, I can't this, imagine what the crowd is, to is just thinking right theaters now as this worldwide. is going down. Then I think also, we're gonna need shout out to this man's phone actor. because it looks like the battery is about to give out. But in the world, it held on long character. enough wow. just Happy. for okay. this reveal. Ladies and gentlemen, as proof of the unimaginable like. possibilities in the Marvel multi universe, we give you the one person who could play Victor Von Doom. characters in all of comics, right, Kevin? I mean, this is potentially one of the more interesting characters. It's just funny because he says the one fiction. person if we're gonna do this, who could play we're gonna Victor Von Doom. to movie theaters I don't know. worldwide. Then I but think we're gonna need here's the greatest actor. Just a response above this. <laughs> Mind you, can Robert Downey Jr., I believe, as an actor, pull off a Victor Von Doom. Yes. However, I find it very hard, maybe even disingenuous to say that this is the one person who could play Victor Von Doom. That to me is so wild amongst all of the folks that could make that happen. People might've said the same thing about Chris Evans. I'm sure people could have said the same thing about Michael B. Jordan in their roles. However, they were not Iron Man and they did not play a crucial pivotal role in the entire story of the MCU original for like over a decade plus. This might be a hard pill to swallow. Now, I'm thinking how in the world are they going to make that stick? Like, they said that he's playing Victor Von Doom. So I'm familiar with the fact in the comic books that Tony Stark and Victor Von Doom, actually, I think they do a body swap, but nothing to the degree in which, right? Like he's Iron Man, but like in a different timeline, he's Tony Stark, but in a different timeline. No, from what this was saying, he is actually going to be a legitimate Victor Von Doom, which is kind of strange. But I mean, we can find out some more information because this was actually the idea that Robert Downey Jr. would be back in the MCU was actually leaked. Now, here's an article off of BGR. It says Robert Downey Jr. could return as this villain in future Avengers movies. Now, this was published on the 22nd. If we go by how this is set up on this website. It says, we're only a few days away from the Deadpool 3 premiere. The sequel will show us how Marvel brought Wolverine to the MCU without ruining the character's arc in the Fox Marvel movies. The Wolverine, if you weren't aware from that story, died in Logan, and that death is permanent. So, 
you know, we're going to find out how exactly Marvel likes to bring at least its actors now from specific characters back into their, you know, on the screen. It says, when we finally see that on screen, we'll immediately understand how Iron Man as RDJ can return to Avengers 5 and Secret Wars without actually ruining the ending of Endgame. It was like, come to think of it, Endgame and Loki are all you need to see to figure out Marvel's line of thinking of resurrecting dead heroes. Now, <clears throat> we skip down here in this article, which I will link in the description. It won't necessarily be the Iron Man from this reality that's coming back. Well, I can see how the MCU's Avengers might want to go back to the past of this timeline to grab Iron Man real quick to help the Avengers fight a big threat. A different Tony Stark version that's gone somewhat villainous in a different reality. But I'm just speculating here. The Jeff Snyder has heard via Screen Rant that RDJ might come back to the MCU as a Stark variant who became Doctor Doom in his world. Well, Snyder acknowledged that insiders do not support his information, however. Speaking of Doctor Doom, there's still no word yet about his casting in Fantastic Four as insiders denied my inquiry about RDJ, who I was told might come back as an alternate universe Tony Stark who becomes Doctor Doom instead of Iron Man. It seems far-fetched, yes, but I figured that if there was any hope of Downey coming back, there'd have to be a new wrinkle for him to play. So for now, we'll continue to wait. And it goes on further, it says that it's not a guarantee that uh, Robert would become a villain. He could be more of an anti-hero that might fight the Avengers initially. And that's certainly what I want more of, uh, to see more of. We could get a sort of sequel to Captain America Civil War. This Iron Man variant would have no reason to really pull punches back. There'll be no love between him and the main realities Avengers. Now, it did add that that this writer says that he's had a theory for several years ever since rumors that Tom Cruise might play an Iron Man variant in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. He says, what if it's Downey who plays that Iron Man variant? After Doctor Strange and Wanda wreak havoc in that reality, who could blame that version of Iron Man for wanting to find Earth 616 Avengers and get his revenge? So at least in, in the way that they were trying to theorycraft this was like, hey, we got some timeline stuff going on. You know, this Tony Stark is coming back as a different Tony Stark, and now he's a bad guy. But from how this is being set up right now, it's not Tony Stark coming back as something else. It's Von Doom. So this is really getting strange now <laughs> for how this is going to play out. But we need to go a little deeper down this timeline to try to piece together what everybody's thinking. Okay? Why Doctor Doom was the only choice for the MCU's new Thanos. Marvel Studios at the Comic-Con 2024 panel has some big news, but perhaps none more surprising than the new direction for Avengers 5, originally titled Avengers The Kang Dynasty. Okay, remember that we already had something that was playing itself out, but it has been confirmed that it's officially canceled now. This is now directed by MCU veterans, the Russo brothers, which is damage control. Avengers Doomsday, starring none other than Iron Man alum Robert Downey Jr. himself as Victor Von Doom will be hitting theaters May 2026. Setting aside the sheer insanity of Robert Downey Jr. coming back to the MCU, not as Tony Stark, but as Marvel's most iconic villain, this switch up was something the MCU most certainly needed after they moved on from Jonathan Majors. When looking at the who's who of the Marvel Universe, Doom really was the only option. And I am not mad at Doom being like the main arc of a villain at all, okay? The multiverse saga has been something of a roller coaster quality wise, but one of the biggest concerns across phases four and five was that unlike with the Infinity Saga, there didn't seem to be a coherent plan for where all of this was going. We knew as far back as the mid credits scene of the Avengers that everything was building toward Thanos and Marvel tried to do the same thing with Kang. Unfortunately, things didn't quite work out the way they hoped. Not only did the studio need to distance themselves from Majors after he was convicted for domestic violence, but the groundwork for the film and the character was spotty at best. His appearances as various variants in Loki weren't as threatening as they needed to be, and his role as the main villain of Ant-Man and the Wasp, and the Wasp Quantum Mania, was a head scratcher. 
hitting what was supposed to be the big new bad guy against some of the MCU's weakest heroes. At least for that part, I'm not sure how fair of an assessment that is. It almost does feel like they're looking back with the 2020 hindsight, but I wasn't mad at that particular direction, especially that as it was tied to the multiverse, but I mean, it's Doom, so that's a win, okay? Marvel could have recast the part and tried to salvage the character, but they clearly lost interest after the last few MCU projects failed to generate the same level of hype the studio was used to. And of all the villains you could introduce, Doctor Doom is certainly the most hype worthy. With the Fantastic Four making their way into the MCU next year and the Fantastic Four first steps, everyone knew that Doctor Doom was all but assured to follow shortly after. And since Avengers Secret Wars was always going to be the sixth Avengers movie, comic fans knew Doom, possibly even in God Emperor form, was likely to appear because of his importance to both versions of the Secret War storyline. Doom is commonly considered one of, if not the greatest villain in the Marvel Universe, but the MCU's need for Doom goes beyond that. They do bring up a very interesting point in the fact that the, the MCU's films as of late have been very uninteresting, if not just terrible, okay? plot lines that really are are weak or uninteresting you have characters that no one asked for you're taking questionable direction as far as like how characters are represented or who they are like all of that playing you know sort of a, a way in the fan base really not enjoying what has become of marvel and disney as they try to figure out how they're going to move forward the Fantastic Four coming back again, hopefully I get it right this time, with now Doom should net a positive direction to bring like the Marvel fan base back. Cause I'm gonna be honest with you, even to this day, I'll go back and watch all those old films before I watch a lot of the new ones, okay? Maybe once, but never on repeat. You have someone here saying Robert Downey Jr. coming back to the MCU as Dr. Doom is funny when you realize he died as Tony Stark to save Spider-Man just to come back and send him back to Tony. <laughs> and to everyone that's not happy with the casting, just know that there's actually an alternate universe in comics where Iron Man and Dr. Doom swap bodies. So it makes sense. Now this person is a reply to this that says that just because there's a comic in which this happens doesn't mean it makes sense. Meanwhile, some others are calling it genius. An evil Tony Stark variant as Doctor Doom is fucking genius. No wonder Russo, Russo's came back. Whoever dreamed this up deserves a raise. A Reddit thread gaining traction in this Marvel mega thread in which some fans suggested that casting Downey Jr. as Doctor Doom was an odd choice. I'm sure RDJ is gonna kill it, but casting him is such an odd choice. Harrison Ford playing Red Hulk and, and not Doom is crazy, one user wrote. Another added, RDJ Doom is either the most creatively bankrupt decision ever, or it's going to be the coolest shit we've ever seen. What seems clear is bringing Downey Jr. back into the MCU is a strategic casting move. As one fan points out, it could help fans forget about Kang and give them something or at least someone to look forward to. They said, and again, everybody's talking about killing off uh, Kang, and they said there's a few ways they can go about it. They can approach uh, killing off that storyline. And they were like, hey, they can just uh, bring it straight out of the original Secret Wars comics. I hope they recreate this moment from the original Secret Wars where Doom just vaporizes Kang in an instant with a Doom controlled Ultron. Okay, <laughs> so clearly people are okay with moving on and getting a new enemy. However, you look at that or, or what their reasoning is for, but even some actors aren't necessarily like, I guess just all on board with the idea. They said they did an interview here with Rolling Stone and Gwyneth Paltrow is also confused about Robert Downey Jr. playing Dr. Doom. I don't get it. Are you a baddie now? <laughs> this is wild man. like it has so many implications not just for the films but like we just got marvel versus capcom back as a series uh that's still set to be uh, given a release date but i mean who knows like 
are we looking at Marvel versus Capcom 4 with this version of Doom in it? <laughs> that, that would be wild. Uh, but let me know, man, what you think about this. Like, it's so weird to me. Like, I, I agree with that one comment. This is either the most bankrupt idea possible because they are scrounging to bring back prominence of the Marvel films. Maybe they're just trying to ride the wave of what they've done with X-Men 97 and, you know, catch that momentum. Or maybe they just knew like, this is what needs to happen all along. Is it going to be a version of Tony Stark? Is he actually just Doom? What timeline is this in? Like, is he even going to make an appearance in uh, the Fantastic Four movie that's set to come out next year? Let me know what you think. This is wild. I had to talk about this, man. As somebody who loves Marvel, loves the characters, this is this is a curveball. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's it's a curveball. Now, when I go back and look at these films, I have a completely different sightline of what's happening but it, it's hype i'll tell you that it gets the hype train moving i wonder who they can put together with this i mean like i just think about how much he was getting paid to do iron man like what is on the table now that he's playing doom but can he pull it off he's an amazing and excellent actor i believe he can i just need to see the world that is built around him to make that successful and honestly in the midst of all of this that they have going on somehow make me forget about him as iron man anyway that's what i got for this one be the meta i'll catch you in the next one